Quero a dona das meninas de se admirar As duas contas bailarinas prontas pra dançar Elas têm um verde que não tem All right Guys, welcome to Tell us what the name of the game is Somewhere in the Alps That's not the name of the game Somewhere in the Alps That's not the name of the game So, Agent Gracefully You're part of our spy exchange program from Canada What is she? I my name too often She a moose? What is that? I'm the traveling cognito Kangaroo? Actually, you're traveling in the Alps What do you have there? I got something very important out of a smelly trash can. Here, look at well, nose. of course it's smelly. If you got it out of a trash can, you need a hobby. Need a nose job. No, not smelly. 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 A society of meaningless evil larceny lying and yelling. Look at that stinky course, stuff out here. Put that in my face. Nemesis. Spy fact. You've got to get this trash bag to spy core headquarters. I ain't gonna lie, no, she's pretty cute. I, I like her eyes. It's I just that nose, man. That nose. To spy core headquarters. Oh, and take this oh. gadget from Professor Quack. You may need it. What is it? Dehydrated skis. Inside of this little pill is a pair of skis. All you have to do is add water. Okay. Don't and swallow this. Tell, why would I need a pair of skis? I came to get information, not recreation. You may need uh, them to get away from those bad guys. Your hat. Okay. Hey, how you doing? My name is Spy Fox. What's your name? Bad guys. Okay. Got water? Spit on it. Spy Fox 2. Some assembly required. Oh, yeah. Uh oh. Uh oh. How is Spy Fox going to get out of this one? with the business. He's, he's gone. <laughs> he gone. Got to get out of here. Although this would be a nice getaway cottage, I've got to get this bag to Spy Corps headquarters. <coughs> Excuse me. I already know what to do. Okay. Take this pill here and put it in the water. Yeah. Water, work your magic. She better not be lying. Whoa, okay. The dehydrated skis are now rehydrated. She could have gave us a car or something. I don't know. Feet don't fail me now. Skis, I mean. Let's go. Ooh, just in time. What? They big. Woo. See how big them boys were. Got him. I uh, wonder which way I should this go. This way, this way, this way. Ooh, I went the wrong way. Sorry. Which way should I go? Go this way. See you later. What? This way then. Gotcha. <laughs> should I hijack that I little vehicle? I wonder which way I should go. I don't know. This way. Go, go. What? Got him. I should have never seen this. Oh, he got that. <laughs> Hit him. Snowman. Scoom, I'm gone. Why you ain't jump? Oh. Hope nobody else can. Oh, and there he goes. Did got a face full of cheap? snow. So you've analyzed the man that hand is big, boy. Look how big that the hand model is. One one thousand scale for one evil robot. On the side it says some assembly required. Imagine trying Sounds to type like on excellent a keyboard or a computer or something. Adventures. It has a mailing label that reads to La Roche, care of Chateau La Roche, World's Fair. To La Roche. In the Chateau La Roche. Assembly instruction. To La Roche. Better take these with you, spy <laughs> box. <laughs> wow, you can learn a lot by reading. Yeah. If Smelly is involved, they must be up to their usual no goodness. You'd best go check out this World's Fair. Monkey Penny and Quack have already set up the mobile command center. Yeah. I'm on my way, Chief. Let's get going. Hey, Monkey Penny. 
spy box. Are you okay? Shaken, but not stirred. I'm happy Mom, to see you again. I'm excited to see you again. You're beautiful. So it looks like we're on to something big. Very big. Yes, I Just think my Smelly nose. is up to some monkey business, Monkey Penny. And it looks like it's up to you, me, and Professor Quack to get to the bottom of it. Yo, I thought... Well, you and me anyway, Monkey Penny. I brought the assembly instructions I got out of the Smelly trash bag. Well, <coughs> of course it's Smelly if you got it out of a trash bag, Spy Fox. No, Monkey Penny, not Smelly. Smelly! Smelly! As in, a society for meaningless evil, larceny, lying, and yelling. Our <coughs> evil nemesis. Why don't you leave those assembly instructions here with me? Man, look at those then you eyes. Can to them whenever you're back here at the mobile command center. And remember, you can contact me via your spy watch at any time. Guys, boys and girls, I've Don't never been to so... Don't forget check out the spy vending machines, Spy Fox. All right. It's full of new Shut up. for you to try out. I'm sure you'll find some of them quite useful. Thanks. Now I need to go get busy and go give that LaRoche at the Chateau LaRoche a visit and find out just what he's up to. I've never been so... I would have been doing it all day. I would I've never been so <laughs> It's crazy for me to say this. She she's a monkey. <clears throat> I've never been so uh I don't know. You know. I like her. Mm. Well let's take a look at the gadgets first. I bet these are cool. Spy skates, they look sharp, Professor. What do they Clark. do? How do they work? Hurry up. I've always loved the grace and beauty of figure skating. But being in the spy business, Okay, they teach like us how to skate. We gotta have like some kind of paper or something to put them in there and they'll teach us how to do that move. Those are the spy skates. But yes, shut up. What does this do? A spy Hurry up. applicator can. What's the key to this gadget, Professor Quack? That's a one-shot camera, like no other- Take a picture, bake the key, you get the key. That's the Simple spy enough. Man, you take forever. And then you talk too much. What is this? The termite grenade. I'm sure this gadget isn't bug-free, Professor Quack. How does it work? Does it get rid or make? You've got to be careful with this one, Spy It makes. What's this? An alarm deactivator. What in the world could this be? That's simple enough. It's <laughs> simple enough. Why don't you need to know what it does? It's, it's in the name, Spy Fox. God! Okay, what is this? The fingerprint replicator utensil kit. How does this work, Professor Quack? Fingerprint replicator. You'll eat this one up, Spy Fox. You place the fingerprint sending fork device on your target's plate. Then, when they pick it up to start... Okay, you get the copy of that finger from whoever uses it. Okay, simple enough. Simple enough. What in the world is that? Vacuum cleaner? The stealth vac. How does it work? You just hook up the handy nozzle, then press vacuum to suck up the particles into the handy travel bag. Particles? Or okay. press reverse vac to blow the particles housed in the travel bag back out through the nozzle attachment. And it does it all in perfect silence. Okay, in complete. Okay. Huh. I don't think I've ever used that. Heat. Spy heat. This Spy looks heat. like some hot work. How does this gadget work, Professor Quack? Ho, ho, ho. Hot work. Now, this gadget, I'm really proud of. Okay, I got it. Anything else? All right, what we got? Here's where I keep hmm. my spy gadgets. Okay. Let's take, uh... Let's take That's that. We might need that. I don't know. Okay, one more. I've never used that. I guess the heat. That's the spot. Anything else? 
Uh, no. Okay. Let's get going. Wait a second. How? It's so small on the outside. When you go inside, it looks like this. Wow. That's what. That's a room changer right there. Okay. Let's try to go in the front. Hmm. The entrance is closed and it's locked up tighter than an impervious steel door. Okay. Can we go in the service entrance? Maybe. Hey. How's Excuse it going? me, sir. What seems to be the problem? Well, I hate to be the bearer of bad tidings, mm -hmm. but unfortunately, I cannot allow you to enter through the service entrance. I'm sorry, but I can only let cashiers with proper ID in today. We are a cashier. See, it has the job title of cashier and a matching photo. Okay. I seem to have lost my ID. Can you let me in without one? Yeah. I feel your pain, sir. Really, I do. Unfortunately... Okay, I understand. It seems understand. that I'll have to find a way to get the proper ID. Well, there is a photo booth right here. Kids, don't do this in real life. You're getting, you'll get in a lot of trouble for it. Forging a free uh, photo booth. Just one of the many joyous pleasures in life. Fake IDs. <laughs> hey, Pajama Sam. Well, Pajama Man. Okay, well, let's see here. That's a crazy photo booth. You will never see something like this. Uh, Dentist. We need to be a cashier. Rena. Oh, Dentist. Ah, uh, cashier and friends. Okay. Outrageous. Cashier. cashier. Yeah, that looks nice. You look good. It looks great. Yeah, you look good. I like it. You look nice. Cashier and friends. Makes sense. Okay, let's go get it printed out. All right. This is a rather cool-looking device. What is it? One of those novelty gadgets that lets you see what you'll look like in 50 years? It's an ID maker. A <laughs> creation, of course. It's for making identification cards. Fascinating. How does it work? You place a photo in the photo slot, choose an occupation, and Jeez. any name you like, then press the process <clears throat> ID button. A completed ID will pop out of the machine. Professor, you're amazing. What if I made an ID, but then I change my mind and want to make a different one? Well, if you don't like the ID you created, you can make another card. Just reset the name and occupation. Insert a new photo, then press the process ID button again. Okay. That sounds like fun. Creating false ID cards is something only secret agents can do. That's and right. then only <laughs> when we're on a case. Mm -hmm. Right! Uh, aka, don't try this in real life. You get in trouble. You can go to jail. <coughs> okay. So, let's put on our picture. <coughs> I'm losing my voice Play. today. Now I can make an ID card. Okay. What should our name be? Carlton. Carlton, sure. I love it. Dishwasher. Jump. Rocky. Nope. Cashier. Cashier, there we go. Uh, process ID. Boom! There we go, we have an ID. machine works perfectly. My identification card is complete. Okay. I expect that this will come in quite handy. It will. Alright. Thanks, Quack. And we're off. <laughs> I bet we're gonna get inside now. Here you are, sir. Here's One my ID, sir. Here, ID card. Oh my! I'm so happy that you were able to find it. Mm -hmm. Let me guess. It was in your other pants, wasn't it? It Why? was. Yes, it was. You must be psychic. If you'll excuse Why me, you I'm late pants? for work, and they need me in the restaurant. Oh, I understand. Why you get your pants all the way up to the? I'll just keep your ID on file for you, Carlton. Keep up the good work. Have a spectacular day. And if I don't see you tomorrow. Why you got your pants all the way up, you know, all the way up to your, eh, forget it. <laughs> yeah, let's not even talk to her. Flip, flip, flip. Ooh. Venus Fire Trap. Ah, Napoleon LaRoche. 
I should have known you'd taken up with the likes of Smellet. So Spy Corps has sent the famous Spy Fox to try and stop my plans for world domination. What? World domination? Uh, yeah, of course. Sure. Ah! Since you are one of the few people who could possibly understand my genius, I will explain my entire plan to you in nauseating detail. Mm -hmm. You see, I reversed the scale like of the smelly do. evil dog bot assembly instructions. Mm -hmm. I created a 1000 to 1 scale, fully functioning evil dog bot. Just where do you think you can hide such a monstrosity? You silly spy. You're standing in it. Of course, you've disguised the evil dog bot as the centerpiece for the world. I bet you won't tell us how to turn it off. Complete with a revolving restaurant. I bet you won't dare do that. Observe the means to my world domination. People buying tickets for the World Fair do not realize that as they file through the turnstiles, they are unwittingly winding the highly advanced clockwork mechanism within the evil dog bot. When the wow. one millionth person has filed through, the dog bot, now wound to maximum capacity, will embark upon its horrifying rampage of destruction! Wouldn't it make more sense if you did it yourself? Instead of waiting, if you want now? It's kind of great if I Once I have unleashed the dog bot, all the world's leaders will sit up and beg for mercy! It is unstoppable! I it bet you won't tell us how to it turn it no off. off switch. No? Yes, I have removed the off switch and hidden it somewhere in the world's fair. So cleverly, so subtly, that you will never find it! That's what you think, LaRoche. Even if you did find the off switch, you mm -hmm. would still need the activation code to turn the switch off. What else would I need? if you had the off switch and the activation code, you could never hope to get past the diabolically clever security device located in the evil dog bot's Achilles heel, ah. which is the only way into the dog bot's inner workings. It the is hopeless, way. Monsieur Le Fox. There's no way you can beat me! <laughs> she just told me how. She just never told get me away how to beat you. Oh, I think I will. And now, Monsieur Le Spy Fox, I do. Uh. Just told me how to beat you, how to get back in, where the off switch is somewhere in the park. Judging by those monstrous metallic molars, I've been imprisoned in the dog bot's mouth. How humiliating. Told me that I need a cold I must breath. find a way out of this cell so I can stop that evil roach. <laughs> if I could only reach that fire escape through these teeth. What good is that ladder gun, dude? You're still high up. That I can gather reach. information about La Roche with this talk balloon. Okay. Well, let's see what this is. La Roche's goons didn't follow the assembly instructions close enough. They mm. seem to have left a few gears missing out of this contraption. Assembly's required. This gear must go uh, somewhere in here. This, this gear is too big to go there. Too big. No. What about this? Aha. This? Huh? Uh, I bet this loose gear, you? this gear is too small. Too small? How about this one? Boom. That did Knock it out. Yes. Well, I guess it's like they said. The tooth shall set you free. Oh, 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 oh shut up. How would you go down the ladder that way? Talk about escaping by the skin of your teeth. Now to stop La Roche and his evil plans for world domination. Maybe we should call My Monkey Penny. My watch is beeping. I'd better answer it. Please stand by. Spy Fox, oh, wow. Agent Walter Wireless has intercepted a microfish so message from Dottie Dash. Where's it coming from? It sounds like it's coming from an exhibit called We World. We World. We World, eh? Sounds silly. The message is staticky, and Walter Wireless needs to get closer to hear it. Mm -hmm. You can pick him up here at the mobile command center. By the way, I've recorded Napoleon LaRoche's evil plans, and I'm sending them to you via the spy watch. I look forward to hearing the dish. Monkey Penny, out. Speaking of dish, how about me and you go uh, get some dinner? Would you like to go to Wee World with me? We can go to Wee World. Let's go pick up this guy. Hello. Is it true that the word souvenir is from the French, meaning the act of remembering? Well, I don't really, eh. Uh, well, I'm not sure. I seem to have forgotten. I don't really, eh. Uh... Hold up there, sir. You have a stamp on your hand? Nope. No, I can't say that I do. I better stamp your hand so you can get back into the fair. 
Thank there you. you are, sir. Have a nice day. Thank you. If that's a girl. I'm finna go see Monkey Penny. Yeah. Oh, Monkey Penny. I'm home. Spy Fox, I've been waiting for you. Uh -huh. Smelly is up to their usual bag of dirty tricks, I see. Walter Wireless. Spy Corps' top tracking buff. Good to be working with you again, Walt. Uh, you too, Spy Fox. The last time I ended up with a fever from being cat scratched. Right. Sorry about that. So, you picked up a microfish message from Dotty Dash. That's right, but all I could make out was something regarding an off switch activation code before the signal went mm -hmm. dead. I've got okay. to find Dotty Dash, Spy Fox. This must be important. The signal was traced to an exhibit in the fair called Wee World. Wee World, eh? Sounds like your kind of place. Well, hop aboard, Walter, and I'll get you into this Wee World. I'm in there like swimwear. Heck, that's <clears> my line. Hey, Monkey Penny, I'm going to Wee World. I gotta take water there. Water there. Would you, uh. Would you like to go with me and uh, hang out? You know, Spy Fox, I uh -huh. like throwing pottery almost as much as I like spying. Doesn't breaking all that pottery get expensive? Right. Well, I mean, me and you can go shopping for some play and want to do that. I don't think she's gonna say yes to me, guys. She's quiet. If I ask her if she wanna go out with me, she say she doesn't say anything. That's a bad sign. That means no. That means no, but she didn't say no, so I'm gonna keep trying. Maybe I can bring her some food. Maybe I can bring her some flowers. Ah, uh, who knows? I Lost. can't get in. The door is locked. Some keys right here. Those keys were to all the exhibits at the fair. No one can touch them but me. Well, of course, I wouldn't think of touching those. Maybe we can use our gadget. Oh, 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 oh. Which key should I photograph? Three. Key three. The door says three. All right. Good. Maybe now we can use uh that was an oven um when we first came in from the other entrance, right? The service entrance. But we can use that key. We can not key but the oven to bake the key. Man, that man is ugly. A duck or whatever he is. Go yeah. right in, Carlton. Why do you get your pants so high, man? All the way up. I'm talking about all the way up to the neck. Jesus Christ. All right. <laughs> Here's where. Sure, sure, sure. Come on, if we use our. Would it be okay if I used your oven? It's really quite urgent. That oven is a highly sophisticated piece of kitchen equipment. Okay. Only trained chefs can use it. And Are I'm you afraid serious? you don't look at all like a chef. Someone's in the kitchen with time. No. Are you serious? Okay. We're gonna have to try and find some kind of get up. Hmm. Maybe in the fair we can uh find a suitable place to find some clothes? Uh, what is this? Ooh, I see something right there. Hey you! What you now? Why? Yet. Would you believe so? me if I told you that I had my own television show on public access called Entering the Wax Museum? Yes, but you may not go in. And don't stand in front of that thermometer. I have to keep a close eye on it. Why? That's quite a thermometer. Yes, I have to keep a very keen eye on it. If it goes above 80 degrees, the wax figures will start to melt. Then I'll have to run to the phone to call the air conditioning repair place. They put me on hold for hours. It's terribly boring. I can't imagine. I have an idea. We have a Here's gadget. Where I keep we have a gadget to take care of this. Just watch this spy heat the joint up with a demo of his spy heat. <laughs> Wow. 
Yes. Excuse me, but the temperature has gone up well over 80 degrees. Might have sprayed it a little too much. Yeah, he know. Oh no! Oh no! Air conditioning repair place. Oh dear, I'll be on hold for hours. That's too bad. That spy heat certainly was the hot ticket. Gonna miss that donut. <coughs> Look at all these characters. Let's uh, get this. Wolfgang Duck, an innovative chef known for his imaginative pairings of fresh local ingredients with his own version of what's tasty today. I like to cook, and I'm an imaginative fox. A chef outfit just might Take come in handy. Take the outfit and shut up before he comes back. I would have took the, I would have took the spatula too. Ah, St. Joan of Bark. She made sure that every child in the world had access to ice cream. She became the patron saint of cold cows. What's this guy do? Thomas Elephant, inventor of the mesh umbrella, light bulbs painted black, and shoes made out of bubble gum, gum shoes. After playing in them all day, you could have a stinky snack. I come your mouth didn't move. I better get out of here. Wow. I love the music. I love the music. Okay, now we got an outfit. Let's see if we can speed this up a little bit. Put it on, put it on. I wish I could put on clothes that fast. All right? Now we can use the oven. And she says something, I swear. Ahem. Put her in the oven. Oh, excuse me. I didn't see you come in, Chef Wolfgang. What a pleasant surprise. Well, I was in the neighborhood and I thought to myself, my, it has been a long time since I last prepared food inside a giant mechanical dog. Yes, well, of course, as a fellow master chef, you are welcome to make use of my kitchen. That's very generous of you. I believe I... But you may not use my wooden spoons. The purple ones, they are mine and I need them. Of course, how foolish oh, of damn. me. You know, of course, that too many master chefs spoil the broth. Chef Diner, I can honestly say that compared to you, I am merely an imposter. Oh, Wolfgang. You are such a kidder. You are too kind, too kind. Someone's in the kitchen with Diner. <laughs> Sure that would have caused Amazing. A fire. The key goes into the oven full size and comes out tiny, much like my Aunt Ethel's meatloaf. Mm. Okay. We got the key. We can get into Wee World. Let's go. Maybe I'll leave my chef outfit here, just in case I need it later. Alright, let's go. Let's get a move on. Uh we were on that day. Okay, now we got the key. Let's open the door. Open the door. Where do you think you're going? What? That exhibit is closed. That exhibit it's is closed. Right. I have a key. Oh, well. If you've got a key, then go right in. If you've got a key. Well, I've got the ah, key. The right key. Then Excellent. open the door. See, I told you I had a key. Cute little dog. Okay, we we were. This is nice. I would really love to uh, take monkey pinner here. You know, maybe we could uh, look at the things and maybe hold hands. I don't know. Maybe. Uh -huh. There you go, Walter. You've got to find Dotty Dash, the micro fish. Dottie Dash. You can count on me, Spy Fox. Wow. This is nice. I like this. This is beautiful. Okay, uh, uh, get in it. This car is my ticket to the dream house. I pulled a lever. This is the only way to travel. This is cute. This is really cute. It's adorable. I like this. Okay, go in the house. 
TV's in the way. What a shocking waste of valuable attic space. What is this, buddy? Well, now okay. things are starting to look up. Use this. The stairs. I've been told that it's impolite to stare, but in this case, I'll make an exception. <laughs> Shut up and go up the stairs. Don't you ever say? Don't you ever say that again? Uh, for the writer. The refrigerator is now in cold storage. Uh, door? This button opened that door. Okay. My instinct tells me I'm getting closer shut to up. Johnny Dash's location. Shut up and go. Just shut up. Okay. Uh, TV's in the way. And the $74 million question is, who invented the retractable TV? This button opens and closes the bottom drawer. Okay. And there's some more. Typically, I would open and close the drawer by hand. Will you shut up and open that one? I can open and close the top drawer with this button. All right. Will it sort my socks? Okay, let's Home go. Home cool thinking pays off. Film at 11. I swear, if you say something else like that again, I'm going to skip you. Around and around and down. This is Walter Wireless. Uh... Eureka. Okay. What's this? Astounding. There is a bathtub in the floor. And it looks deep. Okay, let's not go in there. Let's... That closed the floor over the tub. I wonder why they let us see that. If we, I mean, there's nothing we can do with that water. I wonder why. Why that? I don't know. Why Walter, they put that in the game? I'm glad you found me. I've been on surveillance here in Wii World, searching the airwaves for anything suspicious. I intercepted a smelly message that has to do with some activation code. My equipment went on a fritz before I could get the whole message to you and Spycorp, but I think it's really important. I'm sure it okay. is, but if it was a radio message, how do you know it smelled bad? Not smelly. Smelly. The Society for Meaningless Evil Larceny Lying and Yelling. All right. Our evil nemesis. Yep. So what was the rest of the message? I need to transmit it to Spy Fox right away. Of course. The activation code is pineapple, grape, orange. Okay. Got it. Walter Wireless calling Spy Fox. Please stand by. Come in, Spy Fox. I read you loud and clear, Walter. Did you find Dottie Dash? I did. I'm going to transmit the activation code Dotty intercepted to you via the spy watch. Stay tuned. Pineapple, grape, orange. I got it, Walt. Good job, Dotty. Thanks, Spy Fox. The rest is up to you now. Good luck, Spy Fox. This is Walter Wireless signing off. I've got the off switch activation code. Now that LaRoche is in for it. All right, you don't want us to take him. Oh. Oh, that's a big boy. That's me in real life. 463. I have waited in line for over 12 hours to ride the ride. Famous French pastries of the past. A green field adventure. It was the highlight of the fair. Man, you know you small. He had fun. The back was not tall enough to go to the turn style. <laughs> okay. Dollar kids laughed at me. I thought that one day it would be I who would do the laughing. <laughs> I am laughing. Really? Ah, see, it is I who is laughing. Yes. Very soon the evil dog will be fully wound. And without the off switch there, there will be no way for anyone to stop me from crushing all the turnstiles and conquering the world. Really? So that's that's your reason for doing all this? That's crazy. That's pretty uh lame. I don't know. That sound that don't even sound like a reason to me. I don't know. That's just kind of stupid. Uh let's see what's up in here. Woo. Wow. Do we have a rose? Uh, 
I would love to get one of Monkey Penny. Those are really rose? nice roses. Thanks. Yeah, I threw them to ice skaters to do a perfect single snow boot. I want to get one to my sweetheart. I can gather information about the single snow boot ice skate move with this talk balloon. All right. Yeah, my nose is ready. Hey. I know exactly who to talk to. See this girl over here? Don't she look familiar? She was the uh she was B Bear from um Spy Fox One. She was the uh, uh bartender, not bartender, the uh I forget what you call. Them. Front desk lady or something. Uh Here's what, I uh, what do you call it? What do you call it? They are uh, Here's where my notes go. I use the I forget what it the waitress. Yeah, waitress, waitress. No, no, not Napoleon. That won't do me any no, good. No, 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 grab the other one. This one. What do you know about the single snow boot ice skating move? You look tense. Let me give you a massage. I tell you, kiddo, I did the single snow boot as the mass she bear. In fact, that skating move is fully illustrated in the latest edition of the bi-monthly magazine Skaters Weekly in a color diagram okay, okay, and okay. everything. Okay. Color diagram? May I have that? It's all yours, sweetie. Thanks. I bet that really pops your back. Man, I bet that feel good. Sign me up for something like that. Okay. Now that we got the uh, instructions on how to do it, let's try out our new gadget. That's not going to do me any good. No, put them on, put them on, put them on. There you go. Amazing! Professor Quack's spy skates feel like they were made for me. Oh, that's right. They were. Yeah. All right, now let's try the instructions. This should do the trick. Ooh, there he is! Oh, there he goes! Spy Fox! Spy Fox! Woo! Shaking his legs! I was so good, I burned the skates out. Oh well, I don't need them anymore. Dang. Dang, bro, he was so good, he burnt the you skates, bro. It. I haven't seen a move like that since Sonya Henpeck. Can I have a rose now, bro? Thanks, man. I'm gonna give this to my Thank sweetheart. You. What a perfect red rose. Yo, monkey penny, girl, this is for you. Ha <laughs> ha, yeah. Dang, dude. Cat of Rose. I'm taking it straight to her, too. You know, I never actually took the rose to Monkey Penny. I'm gonna see what happens. Can we get, like, some kind of romantic cutscene or something? When well, she's like, oh, Spy Fox, this is, this is nice. Oh, Monkey Penny. That won't do me any good. No, 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 no. That's not going to do me any good. Ah. But it's, but it's his fault. It's Spy Fox's fault. We try to be nice and romantic, but no, Spy Fox don't want don't want to do it. I tried. What's going here? What's what's in here? Hello. Is this Plant World? Correct, my dear. Plant World. I am Madam Ladybug, the slightly irritated owner of Plant World. <laughs> Instead of the beauteous red rose I ordered, I have been sent a mutant Venus flytrap by Napoleon LaRoche. Nice cage, though. A locked cage for which I have no combination. On top of it all, this particular Venus flytrap has something in its mouth. Interesting. It's the off switch. How diabolical of a roach to feed it to a mutant Venus flytrap. I need to get that plant and somehow open its trap so I can get the off switch. Let me take a look at that. Hmm, it's some kind of combination lock for this display cage. Oh. Okay. Right. Mm. Uh, I forgot who you give the rose to. You want the rose? 
Madame, would this rose be suitable? I thank you. Now, if I could only open that display cage, I would replace that mutant fly trap with this beautiful rose. Sadly, okay. however, I was not given the combination. I see. But you can still have the fly trap. Houdini, I'm not. I'll have to find the combination to that locked display cage. I forgot where you found a combination at. Uh-oh. I hope this ain't gonna give me any trouble. Uh, let's go over here. See what's up in the neighborhood. Hey. I'd better answer my spy watch. Please stand by. Spy watch. Yes! An informant has a hot tip about the off switch Speaking and is waiting for you at the you. Food of the Future exhibit. Ask for the candy apple. The candy apple. How about I ask Got for your it, hand thanks. in marriage? Monkey Penny signing off. Spy Fox out. That's just playing. I don't want to marry Monkey Penny. We just met. We gotta take our time. Take it slow. That's for the candy apple, huh? <laughs> so that's my contact. A yeah. brilliant disguise. I'd like a candied apple. Candy please. apples are really good. Certainly, sir. Here at Food of the Future, all food is on stick. It allows you to enjoy your favorite foods without using a knife or fork or having to stop what you're doing. Here you go, a free candied apple on a stick sample. Well, I have the candied apple. Isn't that just grand? Yes, but I, meaning me, have in my possession the candied apple. Only one candied apple sample per customer. Now run along and enjoy the fair, Pumpkin. Maybe she wants me to come back when there are less people around. Oh well, this candied apple looks good. Watch what you're doing. You want to give me a coronary? Ah, Lenny, you're the apple of my eye. What information uh -huh. do you have for me? Hi, Spy Fox, listen close. <coughs> there are spies everywhere, so don't look directly at me. This leaf contains the information that you need. <coughs> this is too small to read. What do you want from me? I wrote it with my teeth. <coughs> Now I've got this split. People are starting to stare. Throw me in the dumpster. Suit yourself. <laughs> oh! I'm all right. Save yourself. Hmm. That looks delicious, but I'm not hungry right now. I'm not in the mood to eat right now. What is that? Although that looks scrumptious, I think I'll pass right now. Get in, me, boy. What is that? It's movie time, movie time, movie time. All your favorites on a stick. Now playing. What else you got? Served. I'm not sure that would have worked. We would have destroyed that egg if we put a stick in it. Hey kids, it's spaghetti on a stick. Okay. Get yours today. I mean, these guys are acting like putting food on a stick is gonna make it tastier. I don't think so. It just seemed like a kind of weird way to eat. No talking. Stay seated. Hey. Mementos on a stick. Okay, what they had to do with the food product?
do from Gecko. Lard! Lard on a stick. Lard! Yeah, that's lard. And four delicious flavors. Egg and bacon. Kiwi pork. It's not gonna make Green it. Green corn and cabbage. <laughs> it's unedible. And lard flavored lard. Isn't there anything Yucko can't do? Uh, uh, wouldn't you like to know, Jimmy? Wouldn't you like to know? Lard on a stick. Start opening your mouth next time. Anything else? Whoa, okay. Alright. She's biting the screen. Anything else? Hurry up. Alright, we've seen go. this. I think that's it. Man, it's been a while since I played this game. Okay. Let's use that magnifying glass to see this cold. Actually, I think I can kind of see it. A triangle square. It's the leaf from triangle, the rectangle the circle. Ooh. No, 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 no. I can see a star, a oh. circle, and a triangle on this leaf. Okay. Star, circle, triangle. Use that fly for trap is locked in this display cage. Yes, I know. Uh, there we go. I did it. Oh, thank you, sir. I'll just replace that atrocious fly trap with his beauteous rose. Nicely done. Wow. I can dispose of that fly trap for you. How polite. Obviously, you're a fox with home training. Yes, I am housebroken. Thank you. Okay. Hmm. We got to off switch to this big group. We got to install that. Wait, wait, let's go back. Let's go back. We haven't been over here. Hey, he dropped something. Hmm. That bad guy put on those glasses, breathed on that breath device, and the secret yes. door opened. That must be the secret door La Roche mentioned that leads to the inner workings of the evil dog box. I need to figure out how to get in there. Let's take his glasses before somebody show up. These rose-tinted glasses might come in handy. Put them on. Take a look at that. Oh, I wasn't fast enough. I need a way to look over that bad guy's shoulder. Huh. Okay. Wearing these rose-colored glasses all over the fair will give me a headache. Uh, let's see what we can find. Haven't been everywhere yet. <clears throat> La la la. Can't get my mind off monkey penny. Hey. I'd like to borrow those dark goggles, Cod. And I'd like to lend them to you, son, but I need to wear something during the act. At least they will take the attention off that shirt. Something seems fishy. Cod, bear your soul. Oh, I'm sadder than an ant in the neck brace at a picnic. In the old days, it never failed. The Cape Cod would razzle and dazzle with his mighty cape of joy, and then the finale. A shot out of the cannon. Sounds exciting. Then, one fateful day, we were at a sea monkey convention, and my assistants Goldie and Blow were setting up my act. My lucky clear goggles were misplaced, and in their stead was a pair of dark goggles. 
So what you're saying is that you need your lucky clear goggles? You ever try to steer yourself with dark goggles after you've been shot out of a cannon, son? Not lately, no. Well, <laughs> it's impossible to see the target. Okay, maybe we can trade uh, glasses, but hang on. I want to see something real quick. Uh huh. Maybe we can get a view from, uh. Uh, hang on. Put the glasses on. Yes. Everything looks rosy behind a pair of rose tinted glasses. What's this? It looks like a pair of binoculars. Yes. I can see that goon breathing into the analyzer. Something's appearing on screen. It looks yes. like Onion Delight. That breath analyzer is checking for the aroma of Onion Delight. Onion Delight. Okay. I just need to eat some <clears throat> Onion Delight and breathe into that breath analyzer, and then I'll be able to get in that evil dog butt. Onion Delight. I can use this talk balloon to gather information about the breath analyzer food, Onion Delight. Huh. Maybe we can ask that chef to, uh, fix this for us. What's in here? Hello? Welcome to... You clone it! Where well, you, you get, get two, 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 two for the price, price of one! Stereo you clone money? Sheep. I'm Doll, and I'm Lee! Hello, Dolly! So nice to have you back where you belong! Key clone money? Mind if I ask you another question? You just did! Well, ask another! Um. Okay, we can clone stuff in there. Let's go back to the shelf. See if she can make us iron delight. I doubt it. All right. No, 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 no. Someone's in the kitchen with Dinah. Someone's in the kitchen with Dinah. <laughs> um. Stir, stir, stir. There we go. Can you make us this? Can you prepare onion delight? Why, I won the French Cooking Medal of Honor for my onion <clears throat> delight. Yes. But of course, I can make it. Well, that is, I could make it. But I only have one onion right now. Can't you make it with the one onion you do have? Absolutely not. The good onion delight must be made with exactly two onions. Here, you can take this one, and if you can find another exactly like it, I'd be more than happy to make you some onion delight. Okay, why does it have Thanks, to be... Thanks, Chef. Two onions, eh? I'll get those for you on the double. Someone's in the kitchen. Why does it have to be exactly like it? I mean, it's the onion. You find another... I mean, what? Okay. But we, we know exactly what to do with this. Take it to the clone, guys. Yeah, dolly. Doll and Lee. See if they can clone it. Clone this. Please. You clone it? You got it. Got one, one, two, yes. clone it. Money? I have this onion. Don't come running to us with your trouble. I think he wants us to clone it, doll. Very well, Lee. You do the honors. No. After you. Can I, I clone my girlfriend? No, please. After you. I'll do it. Don't touch that. That amazing. Yes, but does it do julienne fries? You can always tell what a customer is not going to buy, Lee. You speak the truth, doll. I thought this was a free little thing you guys were doing. I didn't know we had to pay for this. Seems like, seem like they, uh, they, uh, I don't know. I thought it was free. They can clone anything, clone some money. All right, let's take the onion back. Uh, yeah. 
Here you go. Here you are. Two big juicy onions. Wonderful. How exciting that you should find two so identical. They appear to be exactly alike. Perhaps alike. they're related. Wow. The secret to gourmet cooking is careful mixing of only the finest ingredients. Hopefully we'll have the opportunity to try that sure one of these is. days. Voila! Ugh. Oh, thank you! Oh. My breath should now be potent enough to get me past that electronic sniffer and into the secret workings of the giant robot doll. All right. Let's try out the coat now. Go, go, go. Try it out. No, what are you doing? What do you know about that? Onion Delight did the trick. Now I can come and go as I please. Good. Wow. Okay. La Roche's breath analyzer was no match for a clever international spy like me. All right, I must all right. be in the belly of La Roche's Get evil beast. I should have a look around. Oh. Look at them. The fools are unaware that by simply entering the fair, they are Same making possible here. my plans for world domination. As they enter the fair, they pass through a turnstile, which rotates a series of gears beneath the admissions gate. These gears, in turn, rotate a giant underground bridge that passes below the fair to the base of my cleverly disguised giant robot dog. From there, another series of gears turn. Spinning the drive shaft, which turn, yet more gears that wind up the massive spring that will power my unstoppable evil dogbot. When the one million tourists comes to the turnstile, my evil dogbot will be completely wound. And then I will unleash the dogbot on the unsuspecting world and conquer it in the name of Smelly. <laughs> Holy Roach, that is a good one. Okay. So he's actually trying to hurt a lot of people. Okay. Hmm. The opening and closing of that door must be controlled by some sort of fingerprint recognition device. I wonder what would happen if... A picture of LaRoche. Hmm. Whoa. I'll bet if I want to get into that room, I'll have to find a way to get a copy of LaRoche's fingerprint. Oh. Here's where I keep my... You got the perfect gadget. What's up here? What can I do to get those goggles? Hmm. Just hurry up that and take welder them. turns his back on the goggles every time something comes down the conveyor belt. Uh, I wonder if I can get him to stay at the conveyor belt longer so I can get those goggles. All right. When the welder is looking over here, I don't have enough time. Uh, I'm pretty sure he saw that. Fast. The guard is watching, so I'd better wait. Fast. 
Hmm, that makes the conveyor belt go faster. <laughs> Why did they turn it on fast? I'm working like I'm supposed to be doing. Could you turn it on slow? I have the guts. Man, that easy job. And you get paid to do this. Are you serious? Just put it on that. Man, that easy job. I can't see anything. Woo. I need some way to shield my eyes. Need some uh, dark tinted goggles. Oh, 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 dark goggles. Interesting, but I don't think that. That's not going to do me any good. What the goggles are? Still, still too great. These clear goggles don't do anything oh, to protect against goggles? that powerful light. Oh, I know what to do. Trade them in. I know. I know. I, I'll just test on you guys. See if you'll pay attention. What I found. I believe these are yours, Kate's card. My lucky goggles. My lucky I can't goggles. Believe my eyes. My eyes. Praise teeth. Ugh, everything sure smells a lot different with these on. You mean looks a lot different, don't you? No, smells a lot different. Where'd you find these? Sorry, they've been in my pocket for a while. That was so fast. Can we have these? Can I borrow your dark goggles, Cape Cod? Heck, son, you can have them. I don't need them anymore. Best not to use them for flying out of a cannon, though. Thanks, that's good to know. Okay. Let's see if we can get that fingerprint from uh, Laroche. Laroche. A Chateau Laroche. Wow. Oh, gracious me. Oh, my oh, dear. Oh, dear. Oh. What? Excuse me. What's the matter? I don't have a single fork for Mr. LaRoche's dinner, and he gets so surly when he has to wait for his food. Well, you know the old saying, surly to bed and surly to rise. Ah, that's LaRoche's dinner? Yes, spit roasted boot, boot bernays. Don't tell me. The sauce isn't... Oh, yes, it is. Ugh. I think I'm going to be sick. Now, where are all those forks? I got you covered, baby. It's right here. Here you are. It so happens I carry a fork for just this kind of situation. A fork? I've been looking all over for one. I learned in boot camp it pays to have a fork at all times. Thank you. I'd better get this spit roasted boot bernays out to Napoleon the Roach before he starts acting like a heel. It's only a matter of time now before I have LaRoche's prince. <laughs> Spit roasted boot bernays, my favorite dish. This boot was made for eating. And that's just what I'll do. Pretty soon that boot is going to be inside of you. There it is. Now I'm almost ready to give LaRoche the boot. And I don't mean for dinner. Tough, but still good. Stir, stir, stir. I fell asleep. Here's where I keep my. Okay. Uh, this game made me tired. Not because it's boring or anything. It's just the music. Just playing this game, playing Pajama Sound, this game, Freddy Fish, all of them. They, uh, 
it made me sleepy because uh, it's such an innocent game and like um, you just forget about all your worries when you're playing these games, you know? Let's go back in. Uh, well, we need to play. Okay, we got the button on for now. Put them on! Put them on! Well, I got them! Well, put them on! Being safe and being cool. A spy must always be prepared. The light is bright, but this spy is brighter. Hallelujah. There you go. That looks just like the perfect place to set this mutant Venus flytrap. Set it down. Now can we get the switch? That's the Venus flytrap that Madam Ladybug traded the rose for. It looks like it still has the off switch in its mouth. Take it from him. The Venus flytrap has the off switch. Okay. Close your eyes, guys. We need to have dark tainted goggles to uh, be initial. What's this button do? This must be the place where La Roche got that fly trap he delivered to Platworm. Push it! La Roche must get his fly traps from this place. Push the button. That mutant Venus flytrap prefers to eat flies instead of off switches for giant evil dog bots. Okay. I'm going to bed after this. I have the off switch. La Roche's evil scheme is crumbling. Where is this? No one's on the rack. Soon my diabolical plan will reach its fiendish fruition. I will be unstoppable. Yes, you won't set it oh, who or what can possibly stand up to the onslaught of a big giant mechanical dog robot? My sophisticated Stop machine that. of menace will march across the surface of the earth and claim it in my name. People will shout my name to the skies. Le Roche! Le Roche! Le Roche! And I will say, yes, what is it? All the world leaders will sit up and beg for mercy. This is quite an evil plan, no? <laughs> Come on. Let's go down here. Hope this works. Let's give this a try, shall we? Yes. Open the door. Like the old song says, a spoonful of La Roche's fingerprint helps the steel door go down. Ah. Well, we got that code. It's the off code for the evil dog bot. Pineapple grape orange. That must be where I... Shut up. Yes! That must be the off oh, 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 switch oh, oh. for the evil. No, I'll turn it on. Turn it off. At last, the off switch is in its place and the activation code is set correctly. Uh oh. Finally, the one million 
Alien customer has come to the turnstile. The dog boat is now fully operational. Let's hit it! I don't think this is a good sign. Roach has earthquake insurance. Oh my God. Musket to the off switch. Bad dog bot. Serious trouble. You called? LaRoche, your evil days are over. I don't think so. Son has not yet hit. I should go in after him. Go in after him. That LaRoche won't get away from me. I wonder what he's up to now. That spy fox thinks he's so smart. I have one more trick to play before I make my escape through these sewer pipes. This computer program will set up a million toasters hidden in the dog box. Together, the toasters will simultaneously burn a million pieces of toast, leaving a dark gray cloud hanging over the fair for the next 10 months. Much like Seattle. Oh no! There is a bug in the program! Ah, I must check my variables and track down all the straight pixels! That dastardly LaRoche won't get away with that. Not with Spy Fox on his trail. What a weird, silly, silly villain. I can't get there from here. I'll have to get closer if I want to turn that bolt. Interesting. When that lever is thrown, LaRoche is Ooh, unsure that's what I don't want to... I'll need to... All right, all right. That lever look. Let me figure it out. That grate is covering that sewer pipe. It's attached to the lever up above by that triangular bolt. I can't reach the bolt from here. That lever is attached to the sewer grate blocking the pipe below. That hammer is too far to reach from here. Oh. I bet that wrench. Shut up. I think that made the sewer pipe move. That's a sewer pipe if I ever saw one. I wonder where that pipe goes. Mm. Blue goes to spot. Okay. Oh, I got you. I think That's right, keep going. Okay, that's sick. This ball Take the hammer. Bring that down. Use the hammer to get this. Got that. Uh, I'll screw this bolt. Oh, use the bolt to open up. Okay. There, that. It's down the drain for you, LaRoche. What? 
you again. Uh oh. <laughs> I mean, you're a roach, right? For doing such a commendable job in catching Napoleon the Roach Spy Fox, you'll get my eternal gratitude. Thanks. I had excellent help on this case, Chief. Ah, yes. I present to you the Grand Golden Family Approved Fortified Supreme Certificate of Excellence. Thanks, Chief. It was all in the line of duty. Wow. Okay, it just ends. Oh, guys, that was Spy Fox. Uh, Spy Fox 2, Assembly Required. And yeah, play this game for yourself. It's a lot of fun. And uh, yeah, I guess I'll see you guys next time. Gizmos and gadgets go.